We're on a Windows 2016 server, and this also works in other versions of Windows Server as well. We've got DHCP installed, and what we'd like to do is to add a route, a static route, into our DHCP scope. So if you have multiple internal subnets and you want to route to those, but you don't necessarily want to use a switch or a firewall for security reasons, you can do it right in your DHCP scope, and it's really simple. So what we're going to do is right-click on Scope Options and go to Configure Options. Now what I want to do is scroll all the way to the bottom, and we're going to choose Classless Static Routes. Now let's just say we've got, we're on a 192.168.0 network. Let's say we want to route out to a 100 network. And that particular 100 network is going to be on the 192.168.0.2. That's where the router is. So what we'll do is we'll click on Add Route and we'll say Destination. Well, our destination subnet, as I mentioned, is going to be 192.168.100.0. And we'll make it a Class C of 24 in this particular case. There we go. And then the router is going to be at 192.168.0, and we'll say it's at .2. So if you want to get to the 100 network, you're going to get there on the 192.168.0.2 router. So we'll go ahead and click OK, and we will click Apply. Now, you can see this classless route. So when the uh, clients can either can either do an IP config release and then renew or just reboot their computers, either way, when they come back on, they'll have this new route automatically added into their route uh, tables. And if they need to get to some particular device on the 100 network, they will automatically know how to get there now that we've added this new static route. This works on all versions of Windows servers. And in some of the older ones, 2008 and older, you might see the option for the static route to be a different number other than this 121. But all you have to do is look for classless static routes. Doesn't really matter what the number is in front of it.